There's two stages of nails, the foundation and building a nail and the nail art. I've got some beautiful foundation and some nail art. So we're gonna take it up a notch. The glitter lines framing the artwork. Let's get started. As a nail technician, it's all about foundation. But once we build that beautiful foundation, we now get to decorate it. So I have done a video actually where I built the foundation. These are frosted nails over glitter. Mm, so pretty. Then I did a video where I did the watercolor on top of it, creating the artwork. Very quick procedure. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really a fast technique, yet it looks like it's very involved. And then I'm gonna take it up another notch by painting the glitter around the edge. And I have two colors of glitters I've chosen. And I'm considering these two colors because of the palette of what I've already done. This is from Beamy. One's lilac and one's aqua. They're one of my favorite glitters because they're so intense. And intensity is what we're looking for when we're doing line work. You can do line work with any kind of gel polish, but you do want it to be quite saturated and pigmented, dense in color, because you're just doing a simple little line. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. You wanna get a nice brush again, nice and thin. The idea with these kinds of brushes, you can get bristles a lot, like few bristles, but if they're short, they don't flow as nice. And the length of this brush is what you're looking for, because as you're applying it, when you see, you're gonna want it to flow sort of one line works into the other with it. If it's short ones, it's harder to get a long straight line. So the brush is actually very important to this kind of work. Mm, so are glasses, <laughs> especially in the old age. So I brought two colors out, the aqua and the lilac, because I'm not quite sure as an artist, sometimes you're not sure. Bring them all out and sometimes you try it and see what works. I'm looking at this design here and I'm seeing a lot more mauve and purple than I am seeing the aqua. So I think I'm gonna frame it in the lilac. So you can frame it in black, it probably look quite stunning, and same with white, probably anything, but I'm just choosing to try the glitter. So I'm gonna get that brush that I've got nice and saturated with all of the glitter on there, but I don't want it like tear dropping on the brush. I'll show you. I want it, I wanna get a lot of product in it, but I don't want it to look like it's dripping Okay, so look at that. That's how much I've got in there. And I'm gonna need more all along the way. I'm gonna keep adding and adding. Now, I will be honest, it's much easier to do this work when I'm like this, by myself, doing it like this. But I'm gonna do one finger for the camera and then for the final photos, I will do the rest like this, nice and close, so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna start, and you can start anywhere you want. I'm gonna start at the cuticle, and I'm gonna tuck it right into the cuticle. I don't wanna see any gap of this previous color toward my cuticle. I want this to fill in completely. I'm gonna turn it right sideways so you can see. I do want it to be on the thicker side because when I look down it on this way, I wanna be able to see it framing the nail, just like a picture frame. I will say, in preparation for doing this kind of design, you do want to make sure your sides are quite square, not square shape, but square is in even and smooth and on the right angle. Because if it's bumpy or lumpy, or any top coat underneath it is a little bit bumpy and lumpy on the side, this may pick it up. This will really kind of highlight how smooth or not smooth that surface is as you start painting. And if you do find you're not happy with it, just take it off again smooth those sides up before you finish. Now, if I look at it this way, I can barely see it because the nail's curving. So I am going to widen this strip. I'm gonna make it higher because I wanna see it when I'm looking down on the nail. And I'm gonna go around the cuticle. And this, I can sort of decide how thick I want this cuticle area to be. Sometimes how thick you're deciding it's going to be is if you slip a little, make it a little wider, then you think you go a little wider. Sort of when you're eating a piece of cake and you take off a little sliver, well, you take off a little more, a little more. <laughs> so when you're doing this, if you find you wanna go, if you slip a little, make it a little, it might be the look you're looking for. Or maybe you don't think you know you like it until you see it. 
often that's how beautiful designs are established. We make a mistake and then we go, oh, I think I like it. So it seems very easy to do. And for the most part, it can be. But it does require some precision and straight line. So it can be a little frustrating if your foundation isn't symmetrical because you're actually painting a symmetry on the side of the nail and you're highlighting your symmetry. quite pretty. I'm kind of liking, I made a little bit thicker at the end. I Sometimes I kind of like to just paint the very, very, very tip of the nail. It looks almost as if you dipped it in some glitter and I kind of like that look, but we'll see if I like it here. Okay, so what happens if you make a boo-boo? I suggest you get a brush, any kind of brush like this, or even the one that you were using. You want to dip it in some alcohol and then do dip it again, like here's a cotton pad. Do dip it again so you don't have excess. What you don't want to do is flood that alcohol in there and ruin what you already have. Because if you're correcting, you're probably just taking away a little divot. Okay, so let's take a look at this right here. Let's say you don't like it that thick. With the alcohol that's on there, you can trim a bit of it away. Oh, that goes okay. pretty good. Yeah, it does. I will say sometimes glitter, especially intense glitters, sometimes they're a little harder to get off. Sometimes they leave a little bit of a residue and it can be a little bit harder. So don't get frustrated if you find that's the case. Okay. And that's doing that a little bit. Okay. So that's pretty. So I will look at it this way to make sure it's aligning it the way I want. And that actually looks pretty cool. Now, if I will look on this side, because remember, this is my harder side. I will look there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that, Caraman? A big giant gap. See that? Because yeah, yeah. I was just, yeah. I see that for sure. Yeah. So naturally, I did miss that because it's my harder side. But that's why it's so important when we're filing, when we're applying and filing and nail art, is to look at your nail in all sorts of angles so you can catch those little boo-boos. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do them all like this. So I really am finding it hard to see that one side. It's really upside down for me. That's a bit better. Okay, so do take a look at it this way because when you're framing something, you want it to go completely around it. Okay, so that silver stuff, remember I said it's harder to get off? Maybe I'll try a little bit of acetone before the final picture and see if I can get it off. Now the end, I noticed it's a little bit too much there. I don't like that. Try to get rid of it. Yeah. Whenever you're working with gel and you want to remove or take away or you don't like what you've done, always remove it with alcohol, a cotton pad, and just wipe it clean. It, it actually works quite effectively. Okay, I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do up the rest. So a tip as you're going along, depending on the gel that you're using, this stuff is a pretty good viscosity, which means it sort of stays where I put it. If you're working with a gel polish or a gel paint that has a thinner viscosity, it might run. So as you do one, you might want to give it a flash cure, like a quick little nuke, because if you don't, by the time you finish, you might find it flooding into the cuticle, and that was annoying. <laughs> So I like the look of that now. So I'm going to give it a good nuke. And then I'm going to top coat it with the Beamy Top Coat. 
and I think we can check out the reveals. It's really, oops, <laughs> that just came out spontaneously. It's quite interesting, just a little framing of it changes the look quite dramatically. So if you're able to catch my first set of stage of this video, of these nails, I should say, it was the frosted glitter, first video. Second video was the watercolor design. And the third video being this one, the trim. And each stage looks beautiful on its own, but all three, it's very glamorous. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.